An advanced way to keep your computer running very healthy is to keep track of what's running on your computer at all times. Um, and this is going to actually introduce a tool called Activity Monitor. So if you open up Activity Monitor by going to all of your applications by hitting F4, start typing in the word Activity Monitor, um, you can see it right there. So I hit enter. And what this does is this shows you every single uh, program and process running on your computer. Now this might look kind of confusing, but really the only key that I, thing that I'm staring at here is this percent CPU. So CPU tells you basically how much your computer is thinking. And you want this to be pretty low at all times. Now, on occasion it might spike up when you open up a new program, that's fine. But if a program is running and the CPU usage is fairly high, even something like 15 or 20 percent, and it's constantly running, that's going to be killing your battery, that's going to make your computer run hotter, that's what's going to kick in your fans. And so you want to have this sort of available um, very easily for you to, to access. Um, you can see there's sort of a graph down here. Now on a Mac it doesn't refresh that quickly, but you can see idle percentage um, means that this is what uh, your computer is not really doing anything. And then you want this to be close to 100%. You want your computer not to be doing much. Um, and then your user is using about 2% and your system is using about 2%. And these are, these are good levels. When a program is running that's taking up all of your resources, those numbers will shoot up and those are things that you want to make sure that you either close those programs or kill the process altogether. And we'll talk about how to, to manage that. Um, so let's take a look at what happens when you run a program that actually uses up system resources. So I'm going to again hit F4 and open up the uh, chess app that comes with a Mac. Um, and you can see over here, um, there's a new process that'll pop open. There's chess, it's taking up 7%, 7 but mm, it's not a huge amount at this moment in time. It just sort of spiked up. But when I actually start playing the game, now in this particular game, it sort of speaks out to you, and now you see your chess engine is working at about 90%. Um, the percentages don't add up to 100, by the way, because we have quad-core processors or dual-core processors, so um, your total percentage might be higher than 100%. But in this case, you can see I'm idling at 85%, and my programs, the user, is running about 13%, and it's not going down. Once this chess program starts, it's constantly thinking. And so if I think I'm going to play some chess and leave this open um, while I'm on my battery, like this is going to be eating up through my battery fairly quickly. Uh, and so you don't want to have programs that are just sitting there with some um, CPU percentage um, constantly running. So in this case, I want to stop this. So I'm going to close the program. It asks me if I want to save um, this particular game. I don't think that was a great first starting move, so I'm not going to save that. Um, and then in a bit, you'll see the percentage going down. Now, one thing that you'll note is that the chess program is actually still running. It's not using up that much resources, but it's still ready to be to be run. And I'm like, I'm done playing chess. So if you're done with the program, it's always good practice to just right click and say quit. Um, another thing to note is that if anything is taking up a lot of CPU usage, um, let's say you don't know what this particular you know Windows server is doing, so you want to click it and you want to kill that process, you can you can always hit this X, but that's highly not recommended unless you really know what you're doing. What you really want to do is quit a process by seeing it in the dock, right click and say quit um, is a traditional way to quit. This activity monitor gives you these powerful tools to kill processes, but unless you really know what it is, you really shouldn't. If you see something that's eating up a lot of your CPU and you don't know what it is, you want to Google about that particular process. Um, and then you'll find lots of information to say like what's the appropriate way to kill it or where did it even come from. So one pro tip. Uh, is that you want to always sort of know what processes are running so instead of just constantly opening up activity monitor because if I close it or if I quit it like it's gone um, I'm gonna hit F4 open up activity monitor again and I want to basically use the option keep in dock but the other thing that I can do is and this is just the activity monitor I can change the dock icon to show the CPU usage and then it'll refresh in a second and now that it's there, if I close it, it's always there. And if anything takes up a lot of uh, processor speed, CPU percentage, like this will spike up. And so once that spikes up, I'll be like, huh, something seems off. Or once your fans kick in, you're going to look at this and say, oh, I okay, can see that and quickly click on it and um, get a snapshot of what's going on with your computer. Okay. So this is sort of an advanced feature that a lot of uh, typical users don't take advantage of. Um, but it's an absolutely key part 
of uh, running your computer and taking control of the programs that are running on your computer instead of just wondering why your battery is not you know, working as much as it used to or why your fans keep kicking in or why your computer seems older. It's oftentimes just a program that's running in the background that if you kill it, then your computer will jump just fine.